accidents is increasing tremendously. A disproportionate number of accidents take place especially in the night. According to a report by WHO, there is going to be 67% increase in the number of accidents by 2020, majorly night accidents. You will be surprised to know that around 2 lakh people in India have died due to road accidents in 2013. There are two main reasons why such accidents take place. One, improper lighting conditions and two, the glare of the vehicle headlight. Our project thus proposes a solution to this very problem. And by this project, we hope to contribute a little bit to the engineering society and save lives of many. Considering our first feature, we have used a camera to detect the headlights of the oncoming vehicle and the image captured is processed continuously. The processor then calculates the position of the headlights and turns our headlights automatically. So here we have the setup for our adaptive vehicle lighting system. Here we have our right headlight and here we have our left headlight and in the center we have the camera. All these three are mounted on servo motors which is controlled by Tiva C-series microcontroller board provided by Texas Instruments. Here we have the headlight controlling unit which controls the headlight which is given power by 2 9V battery. We have our Beagle Bone Black which is connected to our Wi-Fi module. The internet connection to the whole setup is given by an Android phone connected on the car. Here we have our steering wheel which controls the servo motors. This is the front view of our setup. These are the headlights of a vehicle having low beam and high beam in both these headlights. The position of low beam is fixed where the position of high beam is changed accordingly. The position of low beam is fixed to have the proper visibility during night. This setup replicates the practical situation of the night. This is our oncoming vehicle. The camera captures the image of the oncoming vehicle and then passes it to the processing unit. The processed image is divided into 25 equal parts. The square with the maximum intensity depicts the position of the oncoming vehicle. The part with the maximum intensity and the coordinates of the oncoming vehicle is shown on the screen. The coordinates of the oncoming vehicle are passed to the Tiva C-Series microcontroller board through UART serial communication. The Tiva C-Series microcontroller board then adjusts the position of the headlights such that the overall glare is reduced. As you can see, the headlight control unit. Since our oncoming vehicle is in the center, the center light is glowing, indicating the position of the oncoming vehicle to the user. In the headlight control unit, we have used Texas Instruments 74LS86 XOR IC and 7805 5V voltage regulator. For showing you the practical application of our project, we are creating a real life situation. For doing that, we are going to place our camera on the oncoming vehicle to provide a better view. Now as you can see, we are replicating the normal headlights. The amount of glare on the oncoming vehicle is very great. So I will request Shweta to open the lid of the camera and enable our feature. As you can see, the servos have rotated and the glare on the oncoming vehicle is significantly reduced. Now we will demonstrate for the various positions of the oncoming vehicle. Now as you can see, the oncoming vehicle is on the left hand side of, the, uh, of our vehicle. Now, we will demonstrate our feature. The left servo has rotated to reduce the glare on the oncoming vehicle. Now we are going to shift the position of our oncoming vehicle by uh, to the right hand side and demonstrate the same feature. As you can see, the servos are continuously rotating according to the position of the oncoming vehicle to reduce the glare on the vehicle. The 
second part is to control the headlights during the turns or the curves. A sensor is attached to the steering wheel which detects the position of the steering wheel and the data is fed to the Tiva C-series microcontroller board which then controls the headlights such that the curved path is properly illuminated. Also, the microcontroller controls the position of the camera so that while taking a turn, if a vehicle approaches, it can be detected and proper actions can be taken. The steering wheel is connected to a steering wheel sensor which senses the rotation of the steering wheel and sends the analog data to the Tiva C-series microcontroller board which then controls the headlight such that the curved path is properly illuminated. As you can see, when we rotate the steering wheel, both the headlights and the camera rotate in the direction of the curve and thus properly illuminate the path reducing the chances of accidents. Our third feature is a very convenient one for the remote user. Suppose you are in a parking lot and you are unable to find your vehicle. We propose a solution to this problem. What we have done, we, use, we are using a beagle bone black which is controlled by a user from the remote location which controls the headlights of the vehicle. A Wi-Fi module is connected to the beagle bone black and is remotely operated by the user. All the user has to do is run a code on his phone and the headlights are controlled by secure shell protocol which is one of the safest modes to communicate. So as you can see, here we have our beagle bone black which is connected to the headlight controlling unit and controls the headlights of the vehicle. There is a Wi-Fi module connected to the beagle bone black which gets an internet connection from the mobile phone connected in the car. To operate the system from a remote location through secure shell protocol, we need the IP address of the beagle bone black which is shown on the screen. Now we are going to use an application called ConnectBot to remotely control the headlights using SSH. As you can see, the IP address of the beagle bone is already fed into the application. Now we are going to connect to the beagle bone. We have written a small shell script which will be used to connect to the beagle bone and control the headlights. Now we are going to run the code. As you can see, after running the shell script, the, remote head the headlights are remotely operated, which can be used to find the vehicle in the parking lot. Now we are going to run a small shell script to close the headlights. Now as you can see the headlights are turned off. So this is our setup for demonstrating the on-field application of our adaptive vehicle lighting system. So this is our view from the oncoming vehicle. When the headlights are not on, the glare of the uh, oncoming vehicle headlights is too much. When we switch on the headlights of our vehicle, we can see the difference. As you can see, the glare of the headlights is reduced too much. Now we again switch off the headlights. You can see. And you can see the glare has again become too much. The proposed design has been tested and implemented in real time. This system, when integrated, with the existing vehicle features can be turned into a commercial product. In the end, we would like to thank the Texas Instruments and the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, the NIT, for supporting us throughout this project. Thank you.